everybody, Crystal Beaudry here with Crystal's Clean Kitchen, where we help make clean eating a lifestyle. So as you all probably know by now, we are doing a very intensive series all about simple syrups. We have so many different kinds, and I will make sure to create a playlist so that you can look through them all when you are trying to have an amazing coffee drink or tea or anything that you need. So make sure to check on my YouTube channel for that. It will be under the playlist section. And we are going to be making some hazelnut simple syrup today. This is what you are going to want when you are making some hazelnut lattes or anything. If you love hazelnut, we have a great, super easy way to do it. So make sure to check out this video. You're going to love it. And then also, would you guys do me a huge favor and click that like button just so that it will send this video to more people. Okay, let's go make the syrup. Right, here is all of our ingredients. Now, there's only three. It's pretty amazing. No, for real. Okay, so I got this hazelnut extract from Amazon. It was not very expensive and it will last you quite a while. Now, I'll be doing maybe one teaspoon of that. But the reason why I said maybe is because it's going to depend on you, like to how strong you want the flavor. So I would say start with one teaspoon and then go from there. If you're feeling like you'd like it a little bit more hazelnut tasting, you could do that. Okay, first of all, our sweetener, we are going to be doing some aluos. You could also do some xylitol. I, those are the only two that I would use with this just because I feel like they taste really good with liquid stuff, whereas the other, like if you did urethital or monk fruit, it will be way too crystallized for this recipe. Okay, and then I'm also going, oh, so I'll be doing one cup of aluos and then one cup of some water. Okay, let's mix this together on the stove. So I added our one cup of water, one cup of aluos, and now here is my teaspoon of hazelnut. Now you could also um, do some, what is it called? Some vanilla in this if you'd like to. That would taste good. So depending upon kind of how you want it to taste. Okay, I'm gonna just stir it a little bit and then let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Oh, this looks delicious. Yeah. Super rich, beautiful color. All right, you guys, that was it. It only took about 10 minutes. And like I've said before, if you want to make a ton of flavors all at once, it's so simple. And then you can buy some really cute bottles to put on your counter. I'll make sure to link some in the description. But you'll have a, a ton of them all laid out. You can do whichever flavor you want of coffee in the morning. You guys, you're gonna love this. Okay, let's give it a taste test. Oh, yum. The hazelnut flavor in this is amazing. You guys, it smells great, it tastes good. Oh, you're going to love this. Okay, so if you are wanting it to be more thicker, like a thicker syrup, all you have to do is add in one fourth of a teaspoon of some xanthan gum and then just put it through a little ninja bullet after that to make sure that there's no clumps. And that will give it kind of like a richer, thicker sir uh, syrup texture. But the reason why I left it like this was because it's gonna be a little bit easier to put into coffee or tea or however you wanna do it. You guys are going to love it though. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, and stay tuned for some more great recipes. We'll see you next time.